find all subsequential limits of a particular sequence. So here I'm going to let Sn equal sine of pi n over 3. So if we were to start writing out the terms of the sequence, Sn would be equal to, well let's see, if we let n equal 1, we would get sine of pi over 3. And sine of pi over 3 is the sine value that would be a radical 3 over 2. If we let n equal 2, we get sine of 2 pi over 3, and that would also be radical 3 over 2. If we let n equal 3, we get sine of pi, which would just be 0. Let n equal 4, we're going to be down in quadrant 3 now, so we'll get negative rad 3 over 2. 5 pi over 3 would give negative radical 3 over 2. And then 6 pi over 3 would just be 0, which would be 0, right, for the sine value, the y coordinate. And then this cycle of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values is going to repeat over and over and over. So it should be pretty clear that this is a sequence, sequence that does not converge per se. It doesn't settle down towards any particular value. It also doesn't fly off towards infinity, so it is bounded here. In fact, it's bounded on the high end by rad 3 over 2 and on the low end by negative rad 3 over 2. Now, the subsequential limits would be the limits of any subsequence of points that you can take from the sequence. So if we looked at this and we took every, let's say, multiple of three, right, the third term and the sixth term and the ninth term, etc., 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 we would just be pulling out a sequence of zeros. So if we took S sub N sub K, where N sub K was defined to be 3K, then you would be taking the third term, the sixth term, the ninth term, etc., and our sequence SNK, then SNK, would look like 0, 0, 0. And this sequence does have a limit, right? That sequence has a limit of 0. Can you see any other subsequences we could pull out of this that would settle down towards a particular value? Hopefully after looking for a couple seconds here you can see that there's these rad 3 over 2 terms that are going to repeat and then separately in a completely different sequence we could just highlight the negative rad 3 over 2 points which would repeat again because the whole cycle repeats over 6. So for S which would be the set of all subsequential limits we can see that there are subsequences that limit towards negative rad 3 over 2 there are subsequences that limit towards 0, and there are subsequences that limit towards rad 3 over 2. So these are considered to be the subsequential limits of this particular sequence. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can try one on your own here. See if you can find the set of all subsequential limits of this sequence. So assuming you paused the video and gave it a good old shot here, what do the terms of the sequence look like? Well, S n would be, if we plug in 1, we would get negative 1 to the first power, which is negative 1, and 1 minus negative 1 is 2. If we were to stick in the number 2, negative 1 squared is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. If we were to stick in 3, we'd get a negative 1 again, and this would become 2, and then 0, and then 2, and then 0, and so forth. So again, this is an oscillating sequence. It never settles down towards any particular value. But on the other hand, the first term, the third term, the fifth term are all twos. And the second term, fourth term, and sixth term are all zeros. So there's a subsequence which has a constant sequence of two and a subsequence that is a constant sequence of zero. So S, the set of all subsequential limits, there's a subsequence that limits towards 0, and there's a subsequence that limits towards 2. So the set of all subsequential limits would be just 0 and 2.